Hello there and welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here and this subject is of a village water fountain, something that you would find quite readily in any uh, European village of uh, mid 20th century. Uh, so very easy to make, just a bit of cardboard, a bit of polystyrene, a bit of painting, that's all it takes. And uh, let's get on with the video and I'll show you exactly how I went about making it. So I want the water fountain to sit on this diorama so the sizes need to be quite small. Uh, if, if you wanted a bigger fountain obviously make, make the dimensions bigger. Uh, but the reason I'm making it quite small is to, to fit on the, uh, the road there of my Dutch street which I made a few videos ago. So I started off with a piece of half inch polystyrene and then cut half an inch off. So I've got a 12 mil square of polystyrene. I think two and a half inches, the, the, the water spout will come out the side there. So I think that's quite tall enough for this, uh, for this project. So I cut some pieces, let me go down. I cut some pieces of two millimeter card you could use thinner, but two millimetre is always the optimum uh, thickness. So <laughs> get these four pieces like that. Two will be half inch wide that will fit like so either side. Like that, glue those on. And then these two are going to be a little bit wider to take in the thickness of the two pieces there so it'll look like that so that'll be there these are it's just a, a an architectural feature really to cut these uh, these pieces out then another piece of uh, polystyrene shaped like a um, coping stone easy enough to do just four four cuts with a sharp knife going down like that that'll sit on the top Okay, and then just to make it a little bit more interesting, these pieces around the bottom, like that. <laughs> yeah, go on then. That bit there, and that bit there. So that will be the uh, the upright part of the water fountain, like that. So I'll. St <laughs> back around there. So I'll stick all those pieces together uh, and then it will have a, a base, well a base around the bottom, um, should, sort of shaped like that, uh, bit out the front there, and th that will be <laughs> that will be the basic shape of the water fountain. This will be the uh, the water reservoir if you like with the spout coming out and pouring into the into the reservoir there. So if, if I put all these pieces together, uh, it might look a little more, um, uh, uh, though you, uh, uh, might look more like you know what I'm talking about at the moment, maybe not. <laughs> so I'll stick all these bits together and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I stuck all my bits of cardboard together so that was uh, the upright and the uh, the base of it there. Uh, I stuck it on a, a polystyrene base, just a bit bigger than the, the bottom there, and cut out with a sharp knife what would be the stones that it was made from. So cut all those out. Doesn't matter that they're so big a gap because they're going to be filled in a moment anyway. Um, and then just uh, a border of polystyrene around the top. That's all it is. And then one of those bendy straws to make the <coughs> the spout for the water. So very, very simplistic idea, really. Um, so now we've got this. I've got some uh, wall filler with water, mixed with a bit of water. And I'll do the whole thing with this because uh, neither the polystyrene nor the cardboard 
will like um, paint on it. So I'll uh, give it a coat of this and then I can do a a anything that I like with it. Paint it, put grout on, which is what I will do anyway, uh, to give it a concrete look or stone look. So I'll carry on putting all this. Uh, it's not easy to do through the lens of a camera, I find. Anyway, I'll do the whole thing with this stuff and then I can paint it at will, uh, do what I like with it. So I'll do that, come back and show you then. OK, so finished my water fountain. Uh, I completed that coat of uh, wall filler with a little bit of water. That gave me a basis then for my grey tile grout. Um, I added some PVA glue to it uh, because when it dries it, it, it can sometimes sort of brush off uh, and you lose the effect. But with the PVA glue then it, it doesn't do that, it stays on. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the grey stone colour but then with a, a black wash over the top of that then it brings out the... Uh, weathered look of uh, stone so uh, now we've got a completed water fountain doesn't look too bad I don't think okay so I was going to put it on my Dutch street diorama but um, it didn't look quite right on that the road wasn't wide enough so I hooked out my old um, derelict barn that I made um, mm, few weeks ago but if you look in my list of videos you'll see how I went about making this so I can add that now to the diorama somewhere there I don't know and that uh, is more in keeping I think with uh, a northern European village well any European village really of uh, that era where the, uh, the village water fountain was the only water supply. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, there will be uh, new videos coming along all the time. Uh, my next project uh, I'm quite excited about. Um, uh, it's difficult coming up with ideas. I've done 160 odd videos now of different uh, s uh, subjects of dioramas uh, but my my next one I'm I'm quite uh, quite excited about so pl if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell and you will be informed when new videos come along uh, in the meantime thanks for watching this video um, have a go yourself very easy and cheap to make little bit of cardboard, a little bit of polystyrene, that's all, nothing more. Um, have a go, let me know how you get on, um, and I will see you in the next video.